So let's get to the um, red flag part because there's not significant controversy with the exception of the stuff that we've seen here and it's surface level stuff. So Kelsey's known to have one, two, three, four long-term relationships. Uh, Maya Banbury, Kayla Nicole, uh, Zuri, Hall, I don't know who Zuri Hall is, and of course Taylor Swift being the fourth. So not a lot of um, notches overtly stated uh, to the public based on his dating history. Taylor Swift is another story. So um, the two red flags, and guys, if you're new to the channel, let me give you the, um, the ticker for the, there it is. You can get it below. Entrepreneursandcars.com forward slash red dead flat, red dash flags. If you haven't read my book, The Unplugged Alphas, it's seen over my shelf over here. You can get the chapter for free. Uh, the two red flags that she definitely ticks off, and one of them is not a good one. Um, she's obviously number two feminist. Um, she leans left. She supports abortion rights. She's big into the uh, alphabet community. Fine. Um, not the kind of gal, in my opinion, that you'd want to choose as a breeder, as Travis Kelsey put it. Um, I don't think you're <laughs> not a good choice, Travis. Um, but th the worst part is when you get into her past relationships. Uh, I think on my tweet, it was counted at about 13 or 14 exes, so ex-boyfriends. Keep in mind, she's 34. Um, the number's actually higher. Uh, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 that we know of. So we've got Joe Jonas, Lucas Till, Taylor Lautner, John Mayer, Corey Monteith, Jake Gyllenhaal, Adam Young. Yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal, the actor. Adam Young, Cord Overstreet. Apparently a lot of her songs were written about him. Uh, Adam Young, Cord Overstreet, Eddie Redmayne. Zach Efron, Connor Kennedy, Harry Styles, Calvin Harris, Tom Hiddleston, Joe Alwyn, uh, Maddie Healy, and currently Travis uh, Kelsey. And as you guys know, I've talked about this many times. Um, women, you know, when they're counting notches, generally only remember like the long-term relationships. The guys, that, you know, that they, that they really liked. They forget about friends with benefits, what happened in Vegas, stays in Vegas, what happens in Ibiza, stays in Ibiza, what happened wherever the bachelorette party, um, one night stands and all the other, you know, low key stuff are generally forgotten about. So it's been said, you can take it for what it's worth. You can easily double or triple that number. Um, so for argument's sake, you can take 17, you're well into the thirties now. Um, plus, so is that good mother stock or breeder stock as Travis Kelsey likes to call it? I'm going to go with no, your honor. Um, it's not. We know that a woman that shared her body with a lot of men does not make a good wife, does not make good wife stock. Um, the probability of divorce increases dramatically from virginity. I think they only collected the data up to about 12 and after 12, they just stopped because it was kind of pointless. Like after 12 partners, she's basically wrecked for life. Um, the chances you have in a, a successful long-term marriage go down in the toilet very strongly. Um, so as a, as a breeder, as Travis Kelsey would like to call it from his podcast and the overt statements that he made on social media, uh, not a good pick. She's also feminist. So those two things alone would, in my estimation, make her a poor choice. Setting aside the fact that her mom is very large and she's bound to follow in those footsteps as she gets older. Um, that's my take on it. Guys, I don't have any other red meat that my researcher could pull up on this. Um, we talked about her empowering lyrics. Um, she talks a lot about her exes in her lyrics, which leads me to believe, okay, so we can talk about being alpha widowed. Um, she's not necessarily keeping men from her past around, but she's holding a place in her singing about it so, so much. Like every time she goes on tour and like, I've seen videos of Travis Kelty, Kelty, Kelsey in the stands watching one of her performances. Yay, you know, go babe, uh, it looks so good. And you know, you see the video of him like really enjoying himself. Only she's singing songs about exes to Travis in front of, you know, tens of thousands of people in the stadium. So you take it for what it's worth, man. But to me, that looks like an alpha widow. Um, 
to to go to the effort to write so many songs about guys that you were with in the past, which you no longer have a good relationship with, you've got a very distant. I mean, on one hand, you don't want a chick that's got bad relationships with every single guy that she's been with. And on the other hand, you don't want her being strongly connected with every single guy that she's been with. This shit's weird. This is the kind of problems where, you know, guys run into, oh, well, you know, he's just a friend. And again, I'll say it one more time. Nobody fucks more husbands or sorry. Nobody fucks more wives and girlfriends than he's just a friend. So there's that. The middle ground is where you want to check. You want indifference. You don't want a high notch count. You don't want her having terrible relationships with them all. You don't want her having strong relationships with them all. You want a difference. I don't care. I don't talk to him anymore. How do you feel about him? I don't even think about him. That's it. That's, that's, that's a good place to be. Um, so I think on the opposite end of the spectrum, hating so many of the guys and then singing so many songs about all of these guys. And, you know, keep in mind, the common denominator here is a lot of guys who like to point out is her making bad choices from one guy to another. Um, I mean, if she can't choose the right man, then why is she in a position of influence to tell others to choose the right man for president? You see what I'm saying here, right? Like she sucks at choosing men 17 times. Those are just the ones that we know about. Um, but she's going to endorse a presidency. Like she's going to tell her 300 million fault. That's literally almost the entire population of the United States. I'm assuming most of her follows are in the United States. Um, or the vast majority of them anyway. Um, she's she's going to tell them which man to pick from the lady that writes songs about men that she doesn't have a good uh, pass with, but there you have it. Um, so somebody said, uh, on social media to me the other day, uh, Travis is going to get his heart broken either way, either by, um, Taylor Swift or by his jabs. So we'll see what that looks like at the end of the day. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from, if you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.